Okay, what is up, Emma? This is me, Emma Jane, Emma Jane TV. And yeah, 2021 just arrived. So happy new year, guys. So I hope you're all doing well. I hope you are all, all safe. I know most of you are alone, especially if you're from London. Totally understand. I mean, it kind of sucks. I mean, this last year sucked anyways for a lot of people. Compared to me, uh, I had my mom. <laughs> and I had my pets so that's the only way to keep me sane is my pets my my turtle my fish and my two bunnies I mean they were the only reason that I was able to get through the year um anyways um okay so first of all I want to say for all the K-pop fans I love you all I don't care what fandom you are in. I don't give a shit. I don't care. Uh, I just love you all because that's what I am. I can, yes, I'm an army. Yes, I'm a starlight. And yes, I am. I guess it. I guess it. But still, I will show love to some of the blinks. Well, blinks in general, the, the healthy ones, you know. I like the healthy ones. I like the healthy people that don't cause problems. Those who do love to cause problems... Think about your life. <laughs> Think about your life choices and what you say on internet, okay? So, some of the things I did say on the videos, on my reactions, is because, like, I know I sound harsh and I know I sound a bit dissing to some of the people. And I, I, know, I know for a fact there's a lot of people that got offended. But, sorry, not sorry. And I, when I say things, like, that is pretty harsh, I say it because I care. Okay, I say it because I, I want, it's, it's like, for me, it's like showing love. It's like you spank a child when they do something wrong, but not necessarily going over the top. But then again, I will say it regardless. Um, I just hope that you are all well. And yeah, just, 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 just be nice to one another. I don't care if you have a beef with another fandom, but at least show some respect and love. For one another so there's another thing a couple things i want to say is let's leave the fan wars let's leave the cancel culture behind we don't need it in 2021 we just no boo boo we don't we we just don't another thing for non-k-pop fans the racist people okay 2021 2020 was a year that a lot of people especially the white folks a lot of the white folks that have been black fishing, black face, have done the black face, have black fishing, uh, has said racist remarks, especially on TikTok, um, or just a cultural appropriation or gaslighting black people in as a whole. I'm surprised they haven't gaslighted Latinos because, girl, I'll be pissed. And as a Latino... I know what it's like to be disrespected. I know how it feels to be disregard, disregarded and just feel like shit, okay? So, for all you black people out there, I love you all. And, and I just want to know that you are beautiful no matter what. Your skin, sweet baby Jesus, your skin is the most beautiful thing that God has given you. And I'm, I'm saying this from the heart. I'm not saying this because I'm saying it, you know. <laughs> um, all my Latino people, los quiero mucho. Feliz año. So, yeah. Yes, I do speak Spanish, okay. So, <laughs> I just really don't really speak it on, on the internet. I don't know why. I just probably am lazy. But with my mom, I speak a lot of Spanish. A lot of Spanish. Because, for those who don't know, I'm not allowed to speak English in my house. Unless I have... Unless if I'm outside my house, then yeah. But overall, no. Spanish. But yeah, uh, yes, I do love San Corcho. So if you're not Colombian. <laughs> so, yeah. So I just want to say this, just hop on, just say Happy New Year to everyone. Uh, to all my K-pop idols, all the faves out there. All you, all you, from the boy groups to the girl groups to the solos. Happy New Year to you, all of you. And please, and I just hope that you guys are okay. Don't overwork yourself. And I can see you, BTS. I love you all, but I hope this year you can guys can have at least have a break 
because you do need it because I don't want you guys being overworked and overwhelmed because <laughs> but I just hope that you guys are okay okay so stay safe okay don't overwork yourself um the label all of the label companies in k-pop yeah you guys i come to you too i want you guys to add if you want to expand k-pop and especially your artists globally globally when i mean globally not just white people us latinos to to the caribbeans to the to the Africans, to, you know, uh, Europeans, and etc, 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 to the Arabic, to the Jewish, um, let's leave what we don't need in this year, and for the future years to come, is all the cultural appropriation, and the blackface, leave it behind, Add in your company that that's gonna that's gonna be a massive no no because it's not okay and it's it is about time that that needs to have a little change. I mean, yeah, over ten years ago, it was normal for Koreans to do that. I mean, not just Koreans but K-pop idols in general. But I personally think that for for this newer generation, for K-pop especially if you expanding globally which it has been for the couple of years i think those things need to be they need to have an update it needs to be uh you know refreshed you know it just you guys need a refreshing an update in your company in your companies because there's a lot of them in korea and i think that all of this blackface we don't need it it Especially the variety, the 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 the, the variety, va, va, variety shows I can't pronounce today. Again, for those that don't know, yes, I'm dyslexic. Okay, so there's sometimes I can't pronounce, but shows like we like you know all the shows that you see on in the careers networks, we don't need blackface, we don't need a cultural appropriation, and we don't need a uh, ignorant. A stereotype of what a black face eat or a black face or a black person how they act in general I think it needs it needs it needs a change up okay and I think Sam is doing a good job Sam is still popular I think I have I'm not really sure but anyways um I know this video seems long I should leave it as that um I don't know what else I don't know what else that's neat for for um 2021. Yeah, cancel culture needs to be staying behind. <laughs> In general, Twitter, Twitter, all you Twitter users, enough of the cancelling for stupid reasons. Stop. Cancel culture needs to be cancelled as a whole. You don't need it. It's just, it's getting out of hand, okay? It's getting out of control. It's, you guys are just cancelling. I, I bet you'd be cancelling someone for making a bathtub. Like, guys, stop. You, you guys are just going, some, some things are not right, okay? So, it needs to be stay behind. We don't need it in 2021. Uh, fashion, I don't care. You can wear wherever you want. I don't understand why people say, oh, ditch this, ditch that. No, no. If there's a fashion that you like, sweet baby Jesus, honey, you wear it. Because I know you feel comfortable in your own skin in that type of fashion. Um, If a guy wants to wear a dress and some high heels and some, you know, a nice little weave with hairbands like this, baby girl... Honey boo boo, do you boo? Because for what I care, I just wear what I want, when I want, not when people tell me not to wear it. So if you want to wear ripped jeans, wear them. I mean, if you want to wear a cap or a snapback, which I haven't heard 
hadn't worn one in a while, I just might wear one. If you know my videos, I used to wear a lot, <laughs> a lot of snapbacks. I have, I still got them. I mean, I'm not that type of person to give them away, so. Okay, so I just hope that you guys are doing okay. I just hope to remember, be strong. I know last year was, last year was a pie pooper. Let's just put it this way. For a lot of people, for me, not really, but it, I, it did suck at one point because I did wanted to see a musical that didn't happen because it got cancelled because I wanted to see it like in spring with my mum but anyways well and it's raining beautiful anyway yeah I do have a bit of gold um I'm recovering very well now uh and for those who are sick stay at home don't go out and for those who are going, who want to go clubbing, don't go out. Don't go out. It's, just, it's cold. Why would you go out if it's the weather's cold? And Christmas was very interesting, actually. I mean, I don't really care about presents. <laughs> but what's most important is that you spend time with your family. That's more important than presents. Let's just put it that way. So, if you haven't learnt anything from The Grinch, go watch The Grinch. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to hop off now. I'm just going to, um, I don't know, probably drink Ribena. A hot one, right, actually. If you're not British, look it up. <laughs> Ribena is actually really common here, so it's actually nice. But we... I've, I haven't seen the spice version of Ribena. I mean, they had the, the hot spice. Oh, so nice. It's sweet. It's not spicy, but it's just it's just called spice, but it's so good. Um. Anyways, yeah, I'm rambling again. So I just hope you guys are doing okay. Happy New Year. Let's just leave all the BS from last year behind, okay? Everything that happened in last year, leave it behind. Don't bring it. Don't you dare bring it in 2021. So, okay, that's all. I love you all and you're on everyone. Sarangheyo.